What is going on, Panda Gang? Man? Today in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the best aim assist values with indeed the Aimlock version 9 script, right? Now, to go ahead and download the script, it's going to be completely free. As y'all know, anytime I make an aim assist video like this one that you're watching right now and or a setup video, I'll link the setup video into this description so you guys can go ahead and watch it and it's going to be pinned in the comments, all right? What's going to be pinned in the comments? It's going to be this script for free and the setup video. I highly recommend you watch the setup video so you know how to set the script up because I talk more about that, right? So to go and download, just simply hit this download button from the media fire link, then open up your Zen Studios. I'll briefly go over how to get this script downloaded on. You just go ahead and hit file, press open over here, go into your downloads, and then just click on aimlock version. We have a massive giveaway going on right now, guys. This is going to be for the lifetime tier, which gives you guys access to all these other tiers. All you have to do to enter is comment down below which one of my scripts you guys are using and why you guys like using it. That's all you got to do. I'm going to be picking a winner every single Sunday. So four winners per month. Make sure you guys go ahead and join up. All right. So just comment down below what script you guys are enjoying. All right. I know everyone's looking for the best plug and play script, so worry no more, we got you guys covered. I know brand new games like BO6 are coming out, so go ahead and click on the first link in the description. It's gonna take you guys over into this Podia page. Currently, we got five tiers open. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly explain each of them, all right? So first one's the Extreme Scripts. This just gives you access to all my scripts that I've ever created and that I continue to create every single month brand new ones and then you got the access to the ultimate aim assist tier which is the next one if you buy any of the higher tiers you'll get all the scripts and the aim assist values with it that's what the ultimate aim assist is you get the aim assist values with all the scripts then we got the custom scripts here where we take your exact in-game settings and make you a script so you don't have to adjust anything and then finally we got the legendary tier this is for the one-on-one -on -one help all right if you guys are struggling to set up the zen or you're brand new to the zen i highly recommend you get this tier to get on a call with me to get the best scripts and get it set up right and then also we got the lifetime tier which is 250 lifetime for everything that's included in here all right now here's everything included in the extreme script section as you guys can see we got tons of different scripts and then all the setup videos are at the top so it's easy to fall on all that good stuff same thing with the ultimate aim assist tier anytime there's a new script i go ahead and upload a video on that now i know a lot of you guys were asking for a one-time purchase for all these scripts so we have created this tier which is my top 10 scripts for $75, all right? That's a one-time purchase. You get all my best scripts. And then we also have this tier, which probably won't be here for long. So if it's on here, go ahead and check it out. That is $10 per month. We go ahead and add a one new script every single month. And a huge shout out to the man. Oh man, I can't believe it. The 3.8K members that are currently part of the Podium. Man, appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Version nine, all right? As soon as you do, press open. And then you just go over to your programmers tab. You'll see aimlock version nine. Just right click and drag and drop into an open slot. Once it's in there, just press this play button. All right. That's a brief version. Go ahead and watch the setup video if you want a slowed down version of how to set it up. All right. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and just quickly get over into our game. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and launch up Call of Duty. And to go ahead and just activate the script, all you have to do is press the right side big blue button on the Zen. For me, Go ahead and press it twice because it was on my second slot and you guys can see the aimlock version 9, all right? Now, here's what the in-game aim assist looks like. I don't think I have any of the aim assist on right now. And you can see there's no drag whatsoever, right? And I know a lot of you guys are looking for the best plug and play scripts. This one's it. So let's say you just go ahead and turn it on. You just go ahead and turn on Doge's Polar aim assist. Now check out the aim assist you will get. Look at the drag. You guys can see my hands. My hands are right here and look at the stick, right? Look at the drag. Let me go ahead and put it back to the center. And same thing. Look at the drag. You guys see that? I'll put it to the center when I go over here. And look. See? I'm not touching the right thumbs. And that's the sticky aim assist in action. And again, we didn't even adjust the values or talk about them. That's the Doge's Polar. It is absolutely insane. And that's why I love this script. By far one of the best ones we've ever made. All right? Now let's go and talk about the aim assist values. You guys can see right now we got Doge's Polar on. We have the polar boost off. What the boost does is if you want an aim assist when you're firing, you can turn that on. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, so I leave it off. Doge's polar, you can go ahead and press A, and this is where you'll be able to adjust the values. You have option for radius and angle. And I know what a lot of people think. Well, if I get that kind of drag with it just at 15 and 20, what if I put the value to, let's say, let's say something crazy like 50? What is that going to do, right? So we're going to put both of them at 50. And I'll show you guys what it does. So angle at 50, radius at 50, right? 
look at how shaky your screen is. You see, that's what the aim assist does. It's going to shake your screen. And it's going to be just really hard to aim. Now, is the aim assist that much stronger? Not really, because it could only really pick up the enemy if they're on your screen, right? It's not aimbot or anything where it's going to lock on. So again, I recommend putting your values anywhere between 15, I would say, to about 20 being max, okay? 15 to 20 on both the radius and the angle. Angle is the speed at which the right thumbstick will move. Radius is how big that circle is. Angle is how fast it moves. Radius is just going to be how big the circle is. And look at that, 15 is plenty good. Let's say you're aiming at that back enemy. It's not really gonna work the best because that front one crosses, but just check out the drag. It is absolutely insane, all right? So that Doge is polar. We can also utilize dam polar assist as well. There's only two aim assists and same thing with dam. You also have polar boost, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the dam polar values. So we're gonna keep pressing right on the D-pad. Similar things, you got radius and angle. They're defaulted set to 15 and 20, which is what I use. And then the boost, I don't really use. Now here's what that would look like. You guys can see, this one doesn't give you as much of a drag until the enemy is like right on your screen. Then you get the same amount of drag. You guys see that? Look at that. Look at the drag you get. You guys can see? Again, I'm not touching that right thumbstick. It's just moving on its own, right? Just moving myself. That's the aim assist with the aim lock version 9. And then what that does, it makes it easier for you to just track the enemies, right? You guys can see? Enemy moves. Let's say you're moving over here. It just makes it easier for you to track and shoot. So look, this is what it'll look like. Bang. See? Move over here. Bang. Makes it very easy to shoot at the enemy. So hope you enjoyed this video, man. Just kind of wanted to go into the aim assist. Now, one of the big things that will affect tons of settings when it comes to aim assist. Let me go and get rid of the Zen cam. It's going to be your in-game settings, all right? And specifically, when I talk about in-game settings, I'm talking about the dead zone, all right? Doesn't matter what game you're playing, you got to make sure your dead zones are set up correctly. And I recommend putting your mins always at five and then your max at 99. Okay. That's going to be a big affecting factor in your aim assist working or not working. And also your aim assist type. Aim response curve type should be on standard. That works the best. And then aim assist type on right here, put it on default. And that's really it when it comes to Amos. As long as you got those settings, you're going to be good to go. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one. Peace, love, panda gang.